today we're going to be diving in to what divinely designing your business really means and and why should you be doing it so let's start with a gorgeous quote a creative life is an amplified life it's a bigger life it's a happier life it's an expanded life and it's a hell of a lot more interesting life I hope that is you and your business and your life so that quote is by Elizabeth Gilbert now Whilst you're, if you run your your website, your um, business, you're basically a solopreneur. You do everything. Um, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So today I want to dive into why co-creating with the divine and your spirit team makes things easier. It makes those decisions easier. It makes the uh, shiny object chasing that a lot of us do because we're so creative and we've got millions of ideas. It can even make that easier. Mm, Yes. So let's dive in to reason number one, which is guidance and direction. Now, perhaps you're a person that always trusts your intuition. Fantastic very good for you. Unfortunately, a lot of us aren't or we get a little bit distracted or confused by perhaps the amount of ideas and the amount of decisions that we have to make in business. And a lot of us haven't really been taught business. We're just (laughs) figuring it out as we go along. Now, what I've found is that tuning into the magic of divine guidance and kind of consultancy with the divine, co-creation with the divine, um, makes business decisions and shining object chasing a lot easier. It's almost like having a GPS or a sat-nav within you to be able to be guided to the correct next steps, the correct decisions, the decisions that are going to expand the growth of your business rather than taking you down a dead end alleyway of distraction and despair. Number two, alignment with purpose. So have you ever felt like your business was missing something, Um, like there was a deeper purpose waiting to be uncovered? I have. And when I started working with the divine and my spirit team within my business practices, everything changed. All of the um, business decisions and the ideas I would go to the divine and and meditate, pray, be in that space. So I wasn't chasing the dream anymore. I was making sure my business and my sole purpose were aligned and taking inspired, aligned action towards those goals. So it wasn't... um, you know, so structured that I got bored and felt stuck. But it was that kind of flow and energy that kept me and my business creative, kept me in the enjoyment kind of spot and kept me moving forward. So let me tell you, there's no uh, greater feeling than knowing that you're doing good in the world whilst building your uh, temple of light, your empire of light, your business of light. And by co-creating and aligning with your purpose, you really do get out to more people. So what about number three is creative inspiration. Now, if you're like me, you get a lot of creative inspiration. There is always the next big idea. (laughs) It's a stroke of genius that sets us aside from the rest, but it's also massive shiny object chasing 
and it can cause great confusion in yourself and your business and what you're putting out to your audience. They can think like, what the hell? I remember at one point people thought I was a fitness trainer because I did a lot of fitness myself. That was it, you know? So we've got to be mindful about what we're putting out there. Now, when you co-create with the divine, you really stay on point. So everything to do with your business and your posting and your media, it really stays on point. So there's less confusion. You don't have to search far and wide for the next idea or the next bit of inspiration. What I found is when you start co-creating and opening yourself up to the divine energy, um, creativity flows effortlessly and the right ideas are lit up like a river or, you know, an endless river of possibilities towards your destination. So wouldn't you like more of that rather than the confused state that we can sometimes get in? So number four is manifestation and abundance. Now, let's get down to business here, manifestation and abundance. We all want to create health, happiness, success, wealth and prosperity into our lives, right? Every single person does, whether they're in business or not. So I discovered that the key to unlocking these blessings lies within that co-creation and alignment with the divine. By co-creating with the divine and your spirit team, you are unable to, you are able to unlock um uh, unlock your true potential set intentions that are aligned to you your business and your soul clients you're able to receive the resources and money flows in manifesting in ways i never thought possible i've got so many different stories about things that logically really shouldn't have come into my life. Um, But they did. They did. Um, And I had to, sometimes I did have to put a lot of work and focus on that manifestation. You can't just think of it and um, do a little meditation and boom, there you go. It's got to have the inspired action, right? Okay, so in conclusion, because I don't want to talk too long, I've given you four hopefully compelling reasons why I choose to co-create with the divine and my spirit team in all businessy things, from guidance and alignment to creativity and abundance. Um, For me, it's clear that there's an immense power in inviting that co-creation energy with the divine and your spirit team. And inviting that co-creation energy into your entrepreneurial journey. So why not give it a try? You never know. It might unlock the secret to divine success in your business. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on divinely designing your business. Have you ever experienced the magic of tapping into a higher guidance on your journey. Please share your stories, your questions, your insights in the comments below and feel free to reach out to me directly. I'd love you to like and share this video and let's continue this conversation and support each other on a path to business bliss. Every work, all the work that I do with my clients is divinely led. We are co-creating through the whole process. So why not jump on a free channeled discovery call with me? And the link is in the blog and it is also below this. So just check out Harmony Business Academy and you can grab your free discovery call there. So please like, share this video and I'll see you in the next.